therapist. I do therapy the same way I do jury selection. And that is you get people to talk. Well, Lisa, how do you get people to talk? How do you get people to admit bias? <clears throat> you tell them up front, just like Lanier said, you go through that door and get the TV. You, you ask for what you want. And I would say, members of the jury panel, this is what I want you to do. I want you to tell me in your heart of hearts how you really feel. And now let me tell you why that's so important. And I'm going to talk about that later. You're setting expectations. You're telling people why something is so important. The reason it's so important that you tell me how you feel is that if you don't, you could end up on the wrong jury. And it could be so serious if you get on this jury and you're not the right juror. And what does that mean, not being the right juror? It's not a bad thing. If you enter this case with a bias or prejudice, and those are legal words, and you say, you know what, you get on the jury and you say, I hate plaintiff's cases. I could never give money, no matter what the evidence was. That would be bad, because this is what could happen. The whole case could be thrown out, and we might even have to start over again.